Hello viewers, chemistry lovers, I am back with another video. In this video I will talk about the formulae, how to write the formulae, what are common mistakes possible in formula writing. Formulae are very important fundamental of the uh, chemistry. If you know the formula writing well, uh, we are very very sure in chemistry uh, wherever we are. Uh, working into it please all chemistry lovers don't forget about subscribing my channel to write the formula what the formula is formula is the abbreviated name with the help of uh, symbols uh, to represent a molecule or a compound to represent this we require the radicals or ions the radicals or ions are formulated in a valency chart which are prepared here as you can see, the valency chart can easily be prepared. But before that, I would like to ask the question of this video. Question is, what is the symbol of diamond? What is the symbol for diamond? Keep searching the answer. I am getting into the topic. So children, firstly, to prepare the valency chart, it's an easy process. You have to practice it many a times. Then it will become very, very easy. I have taken some uh, ions and radicals in my chart. Firstly, the positive ions or radicals, plus 1, sodium, potassium, ammonium and copper, all are plus 1, plus 2, zinc, calcium, magnesium, iron, iron has got the variable valency, uh, Fe2 plus and uh, Fe3 plus, uh, similarly the in SN has also got a variable valency, plus 2 and plus 4, plus 3, iron, Fe3 plus, chromium 3 plus, aluminium 3 plus and plus 4, PB4 plus lead uh, or SN4 plus uh, uh, it is called stannic or plumbic. Negative ions which I have uh, taken in my list uh, minus 1 Cl, Br, NO3 nitrate, NO2 nitrate, bicarbonate, bisulfate and general known radicals are there. Carbonate uh, valency minus 2, sulfate SO4 minus 2 sulfide SO3 minus 2 sulfide S minus 2 phosphate PO4 3 minus 3 PO3 minus 3 and P minus 3 carbide which has uh, 4 valency of negativity negative uh, ions and that is your uh, C minus 4 so here with the help of these many uh, symbols which were written in my calculation it is 14 plus and 14 minus 14 cations and 14 anions. Uh, I think we can write 14 into 14, 196 formulae absolutely correctly. So knowing the valency chart is very important. Uh, always to know the well, to learn the valency chart, prepare the valency chart. And you should be in this method. Positive ions, then write all the positive ions, you know, with the valency of plus 2, plus 2, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. Negative ions. Of course, again, similarly, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Now, here, to write the formula. To write the formula, we use the method, criss-cross method. In this criss-cross method, we exchange the valency. Like, we have to write the formula for sodium chloride. Na1 plus Cl1 minus, giving you Na1, Cl1. However, as you know, algebra, we don't never write 1x, we just write x. So, in the same way, in the chemistry, we just write it. NaCl sodium chloride that is the formula of sodium chloride. Similarly, calcium oxide, which calcium and oxygen both has got the valency 2. Children never to get confused. The students never to get confused here with the plus and minus. These plus and minus are not mathematical, they are developed there because of loss or gain of electron. Positive because of loss of two electrons, negative because of gain of two electrons. So here the Formula may come Ca2O2. However, we simplify it by dividing it by the SCF2, giving you ultimately formula CaO. Similarly, lead 4 oxide, where the valency of lead is 4 plus oxide 2 minus. When we crisscross, cross, we get Pb2O4. And we divide the overall formula by the uh, SCF2 and we get PbO2. Uh, uh, chemistry lovers, uh, this is the uh, basic concept about writing the formula. 
However, there are some formulae, some radicals where we always get confused. So let's clear our confusion today itself and let's not do these mistakes at all. First confusion ha happens in the symbols sulfate, sulfite and sulfites. Sulfate SO4 to minus, sulfite SO3 to minus, sulfide S minus 2. Then second possibility is between the nitrate, nitrite and nitrite, nitrate NO3 1 minus, nitrite NO2 1 minus and nitride N minus 3. Similarly, it is possible in phosphate, phosphite and phosphide, phosphate PO4 T minus, phosphide PO3 T minus and phosphide P minus 3. If we look carefully, where the oxygen is more, here the uh, last three words are 8. If the oxygen is less, it is 8 and if there is no oxygen, it is 8. I D E no oxygen. Children here, students here, chemistry lovers here, if you look more carefully here, what we can say that all these uh, symbols, uh, all the symbols of sulfur having the valency of 2 minus, all the symbols of phosphate are having the valency of 3 minus. Only in the case of nitrogen radicals, the nitrate and nitride has the valency 1 minus and the nitride has valency minus 3. Now at the end, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. One thing more, the symbol for diamond. Symbol for diamond is C. Symbol for diamond is C. It is an allotrope of carbon and all the allotropes have the same abbreviation. Whether it's a diamond, graphite, fullerene, all of them have the symbol C. So with this, I'm concluding the uh, video for today. And uh, please... Uh, do not forget to subscribe my channel with this. Thank you all the chemistry lovers. Thank you all the viewers. Please do subscribe my channel.